We're asked, which two of the following expressions have the same value as 8.76? Pause this video and see if you can figure this out on your own. All right, now let's do it together. And before I even look at these choices, I'm just going to really understand what this number represents. And let me just rewrite it. So we have 8.76. So there's a couple of ways that we could think about it. We can look at our place values. This right over here, this is the ones place. This right over here, this is the tenths place. And this right over here is the hundredths, hundredths place. And so we could view this as eight ones and seven tenths and six hundredths, or eight ones plus seven tenths plus six hundredths. Well, that's exactly what they wrote right over here. Eight ones, seven tenths, and six hundredths, so I would choose that one for sure. Now this second choice looks like an expanded form, but before I even look at it, let's see how we would think about it over here. If we wanted to essentially write the same idea, but in expanded form, eight ones is the same thing as eight times one. And actually let me color code it so you see where things are coming from. So eight ones, that's the same thing as eight times one. And to that, we would add seven tenths, so that's plus seven times one tenth, so seven tenths, plus, and I'll do this in this orange color, six hundredths, so that's plus six times a hundredth, six hundredths. So this would be this number in expanded form, is that what they put right over here? Yes, it is indeed what they put right over here, so I will, Circle that in. Now if you're doing this on your own, we know that we just picked two answers, but let's see these, whether these other forms, or let's see if we can write this in these other forms and see how these might not be the exact answer. So if we were to, if we were to write this out and take out each of the decimal parts, so the eight ones, you would just write that as eight. The seven tenths, seven tenths, well that would be plus 0.7. Seven. This is seven tenths right over here. This and this and this part right over here are all equivalent. And then last but not least, you have your six hundredths. So plus, so that's our ones, that's our tenths, and then we're in our hundredths place and we're gonna have six of them. So this would be equal to our original value, but that's not what they wrote over here. They did write eight ones, they did write seven tenths, but they did not write six hundredths here, they wrote six thousandths here. So we can rule that one out. And then if we were to write it out in words, we would say this is eight, eight, and, I'll do and in a neutral color. Now, you might say and seven tenths and six hundredths, or you could often, what's normally is you express it in the, the lowest place that you have, or the most, the most precise place that you have. So you could view seven tenths as 70 hundredths, or you could view, you could view this whole thing as 76 hundredths. So it could be eight and 70, 70, six hundredths, hundredths. But what they wrote over here, they did write eight, but instead of 76 hundredths, they wrote eight and 67 hundredths, a little tricky. So we would rule that one out as well. 